Hey everyone, uh, this is Vandana and I am the co-founder and managing director at Hospitality Group. Today we'll be talking to Dr. Rajshri Vichare. She is the director of uh, talent and global talent, uh, HR and talent director at Kitopi and uh, board director at Talent Valley Global, a prominent recruitment and HR consulting agency. Based in Dubai, UAE, Dr. Rajshri brings over a decade of experience in HR digital transformation talent acquisition, and organization development. Dr. Rajshri's academic credentials are equally noteworthy. She holds an MBA in human resources from MIT's SOM and prestigious Char Chartered Fellow degree, FCI PD from the UK in 2020. She also holds a doctorate in human resources and organizational psychology from the International Business School of Scandin Scandinavia. Beyond her corporate achievement, Dr. Rajshri is also a certified international coach from the International Coaching Federation, ICF, and a former Air Force flyer with a C-cert from Air Wings. Welcome to the session, Rajshri. Uh, we are very great, uh, grateful to have you on this session here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vandana, for such an amazing introduction. It's really a pleasure to be associated with you and hospitality.com. Thank you for being here. Today, we'll be discussing about enhancing the culinary department through strategic AR practices and AI integration in the F&B industry. As we all know that, you know, AI is coming up and we have, you know, AI everywhere these days. So how are you tackling AI? Uh, my first question will be, how is uh, HR utilizing AI to improve recruitment processes and training programs within the culinary department? So Rashi, please. Well, that's a... Knowledge. That's thank you for that question, Vandana. That's very, very um red and right now, you know, something that's trending on the horizon for uh, most of our professionals in each and every vertical in their own uh, fields. And especially when it comes to human resources, uh, to speak about how does artificial intelligence, you know, has been um, incorporated into various our day to day HR practices, I would say that it has reduced so much of what do you say downtime for us when it comes to operational work when it comes to execution to give you an example when it's when it comes to about recruitment process it kind of reduces our hiring time by 20 percent and you know i'm all about facts and figures and data i love numbers so just done a bit of a research around what's been expected and was the projected number looking like when it comes to you know years ahead and speaking about just 2025 which is around the corner it's expected to increase by 58 percent the adoption rate that will also shoot up in training technologies across hospitality industry retail industry and so on and so forth is going to be massive massive win for us so yeah hr is um you know very well uh, adapting towards these AI uh, new tools and technologies just as anybody else really. Yeah, very insightful, you know, information for our community here. Uh, my second question will be, how does HR collaborate with the culinary department to align training and development programs with industry standards? As we all know that, you know, AI is uh, in training these days, uh, there are programs that you can, you know, the employees can access from their mobile phones and stuff. So yeah. can you give us some insights of how you're doing it in your company. Thank you for that question. Um, owing to my previous answer, just in continuation, when it comes to training and development, especially, you know, curated programs which are designed in culinary departments, where you need to have uh, continuous refreshing sessions for your back of the house staff or your front of the house staff, it's very essential to have uh, self-learning, e-learning capsules, which are bite-size, I would say, which are, you know, not more than uh, five minutes or so, but that helps the back of the house and the front of the house staff or our employees to be very well re rehearsing all these training programs. And AI 
helps in building this con content you know right. and it's 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 very very important that the time and the effort that goes in for a team to sort of prepare this program content shoot uh, have it uploaded uh, ensure that all the readiness that is required for landing the right message and learning capsule for the yeah. audiences is important and ai just does that job simply very easy so that's how that's it's wonderful. been contributing yeah. towards what, our, what I you like know. about your uh, answer here is uh, you said bite size which is very important yeah. like we all know that attention span these days it's like five seconds or six seconds so if you give them a lengthy lecture or you know on <laughs> training certain uh, procedure it'll be easier for them to learn you know small details then go through the entire process at once yeah absolutely that's insightful thing thank you so much for sharing that uh the, my next question will be what role does hr play in nurturing in a, a positive work uh, culture in high pressure environments like kitchen and fnb operations as we know that your company kitopi works on a cloud based kitchen if i'm not wrong so what are what are you doing in this well uh vandana you know just from my experience across uh hospitality industry uh, for over decades and years now including uh, my recent uh, organization it has been a very very what do you say pressured environment and nobody can take that away right now when it comes to um, competition and the economics around hospitality or catering business or fnb business as such is very very high when i just have to think or emphasize about uae as a region and look at you know how how well human resources partner with the operations department to sort of support into these initiatives to reduce the work pressure and create an inclusive or cohesive environment for our again back of the house in front of the house staff with about almost 65% of uae uh, fnb workers we have sort of created and i've heard it across right across all my uh, peers and my working sort of network we have created a supporting culture where we focus on mental health support systems stress management in these high pressure environments we have channels for which are open for our employees which are in the operations team which are out there on the field to reach out to hr directly cut you know cutting through all the bureaucracy in between and just sort of uh, come up with any any situation that they need our support with so there are employee assistant programs that we've built in and it's our it's our sure duty to ensure that the environment is keeping them happy and engaged in a way that the food really tastes uh, amazing and you know matters to the customers so the end that's goal wonderful. is to ensure happy employees happy customers <laughs> that's wonderful insight and uh, you know the way you mentioned about the mental health support and stress management everybody the world is suffering with that you won't believe that you know uh, right now people are on drugs like medication for stress and anxiety yeah. it's it's been growing it's a uh, i would say it's a profit making industry for doctors and pharmacies mm -hmm. but it's very very important as you are saying that as hr you're helping your staff your colleagues you know to come up straight to you and uh, directly uh, you know they have access and they feel free and comfortable to discuss all these things with you it's it's a great thing actually thank you so much for sharing that uh, yeah. can you also share successful hr initiatives that have enhanced you know uh, staff performances uh satisfaction with the culinary team so sure. so uh vandana as you're aware you know most recently in middle east and especially again again um i'll focus and emphasize on uae market mm -hmm. uh speaking about you know what um market insights have been over years as soon as we saw the um influx of visitors increased because of expo you know 2020 that happened in dubai as an event the demand really has increased mm -hmm. uh from a multiple and variety of customer segmentation if you if you call it um what we have done is because of this high demand the demand for talent has also increased and that has led to a lot of high attrition percentage so to give you a, an an industry wide 
um, a number, which is, you know, through again experience, the attrition or the annual attrition generally in F&B sector hospitality ranges from 30 to almost 40% at a YTD level. Now, initiatives to sort of help and ensure that uh, the performance of the staff is at par. They are always satisfied. What we have induced is mentorship programs. Uh, we've increased the retention percentage by almost 25% by introducing rewards and recognition programs, which are lucrative incentive programs, bonus schemes, etc. And that sort of always, always help boost their satisfaction and improve their performance and productivity overall. So, yeah. That's excellent. New programs like this are always, you know, great for the employees, and obviously, it's it creates loyalty. Absolutely, you know, that's that's important. yes. Uh, my other question would be: How does AI contribute to HR's innovation and improvement efforts in culinary department practices? And it's our well again. Um, speaking about my recent organization, which is not just now limited to cloud-based industry, it's um, it's complete uh, F&B uh, sector that has grown from restaurants to uh, dine-in, fine dining, okay. multiple brands, homegrown brands, uh, and it has expanded uh, to another level and horizons. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, how does AI sort of contribute to HR innovations and improvement? Mm -hmm. Now, Coming from a background where working in a in an organization or an industry that's blend, uh, you know, F and B with technology, it's very essential for human resources team to sort of always up the game and stay ahead of the curve. The contribution that AI has had, it has been significantly improved which is giving us data insights and we drive and we thrive on information, which is data-driven insights when it comes to, you know, looking at performance of our employees, their engagement levels through various surveys that are again backed up and used through AI. Uh, the questionnaire that gets formed, again, uh, AI does a wonderful job to sort of uh, segment these for us. Now, giving you an overall statistic figure figures, in the GCC, about 40% of HR professionals, again, zeroing down to F&B sector, report that the AI has improved their ability to predict staffing needs and reduce the turnover. So that estimation level has also sort of increased and helped us to gain insights uh, overall. So AI also has been supporting us by identifying the trends, informs us about so many initiatives that we can sort of leverage on and we do spread this awareness um you know on almost um regular basis or a timely manner so that we are uh, what do you think or what what in the future what kind of hr technology would you guys as hr professionals would require or and feel challenges you know that this should be there to make your work a little more easier because we know that hr does not only handle recruitment and retention you also handle payrolls and, and other stuff especially, you know, mental health and, you know, sorting disputes. So a lot of things are on your shoulder. So what can our HR technology have that can reduce your burden and then make it easier for you so that you can perform better, you can, you know, do your task more easily? Yeah, um, absolutely. I'll give one uh, way or the other credit to even hospitality.com, which is one of the tools that uh, I have been using as well. I mean, for years in my experience uh, when it comes to recruitment as an activity and this tool has also been uh, at a level where it is upgrading and enhancing uh, us as professionals to sort of support and ease our jobs uh, again various at various cycles i would say now to begin with ai um, you know usage or initiatives that um, that uh, it has been helping us when it comes to recruitment, starting with uh, anything to do with filtering or screening CVs. Yeah. Uh, again, depending on questions that we want. So it curates our requirements based on everything that we need. Now, uh, what do you think is uh, you would like to give HR professionals looking to effectively support culinary and FNB teams in their organizations? Yes. Um, one thing 
again from my experience that um, I have honed from from very beginning of my career years as HR professional um, is to sort of immerse themselves in the unique culture of culinary world to understand the specific challenges and needs of their teams. It's very important, um, you know, for an HR professional to be on the floor at times, to be present um, at your restaurant or at your brands or with the culinary team to at least spend some time and understand what happens on the ground. So that you have more understanding of uh, to be in their own shoes, actually, so that yes. you learn what they are struggling with and you can probably solve them. So thank you Absolutely. so much, Rajshree, for being here today. It was a pleasure. And this... Uh, give this thank you so much. Thank you so much, Thank you so much. <laughs> nice talking to you. Thank